As I create tours in Japan, I'm always checking new places to eat and visit. Today, I'm heading to the Western Gifu with my mother. Our first stop is a cafe that sells locally produced charcuterie. It was on our way to the first temple. When I saw my breakfast set, I was happy to see the pandemi with sweet azuki beans with butter. It's a popular snack mainly served in this region of Japan. We just passed the first gate of the temple. Now we are at Kegonji Temple. Kegonji Temple is one of the oldest and highest ranked temples in Gifu. It was built at the end of the 8th century and listed as a final destination of the Saigoku Kannon pilgrimage route, an ancient route of the 33 Buddhist temples centered on Kyoto but covers the surrounding region. This year, 2020, is an anniversary year celebrating the 1,300 year history of the Saigoku Kannon pilgrimage. Every temple originally scheduled for special exhibition throughout the year, which I hope to be rescheduled when the pandemic is over. A Japanese well-respected novelist, Hiroyuki Itsuki, who is also a Buddhist scholar, chose this temple as one of the hundred temples to visit in Japan. In his book, he introduced this temple as following. It occurs to me that life itself, a winding journey toward death, is a pilgrimage. Completing the journey to 33 temples in Saigoku, 33 pilgrimage may present a similar experience of the journey to death. By completing it, you might find yourself reincarnated, a newborn man, as to start a new journey. The next temple we visited is also one of the temple Hiroyuki Tsuki introduced in, the, in his book. Itsuki introduced a Yogokura temple as following. As I approach this temple, my awareness gets heightened. I listen to the sound of nature. I've been to a number of temples in the mountains. However, the Yokokuraji temple's surrounding air was exceptional. I've actually felt a similar way. 
the fact this temple is situated along the stream and you first cross the bridge to enter the temple and the sound of stream near and far away as you walk through the temple. This temple was also initiated by Saito, a founder of Tendai denomination, one of the biggest Buddhist sects in Japan since the early 9th century. Saito left Endakuji Temple in Kyoto with one of the twin Buddha statues he made from one tree. Saito took one of the statues with him when he started his journey. When he stepped into this mountain in Gifu, he realized he was no longer able to move the statue. That's how he decided to build a temple here. For centuries, these twin statues were kept in each temple until a fire burned a statue in Kyoto in the 16th century. The statue in Yokokura Temple was then relocated to Endakuji Temple in Kyoto. The last place I wanted to check out today was a restaurant that serves dishes using medicinal mountain herbs and shrubs. We call it yakso in Japanese. I didn't know until recently this region is known for producing yakso and its products. And this is a herb Hamburg and this leaf tempura if you enjoy discovering regional flavor, culture, and history, I would love to have you on my tour someday. Thanks for watching.